The menace of Brian Loudrop was in early evidence at Ibrooks, an inviting cross chased by both McCoist and Hakeley, but it was David Weir who got the vital touch. And a minute later, another great touch by Loudrop sent Craig Moore on his way. He got past Fulton and picked out McCoist, who forced a save out of John Burridge on his Falkirk debut. The breakthrough, though, was merely delayed. Hately tried to put McCoist in initially. But when the ball broke back to the English striker, he curled a beauty past Burridge. Falkert tried to strike back, Weir's header into the box reaching Nicky Henderson, but his weak effort proved easy for Andy Gorham. Rangers almost notched a bizarre second when Peter Houstra released David Robertson on the overlap. His cross was cut out by Neil Oliver and would have gone in had John Burridge not got his foot in the way. Falkert were giving a good account of themselves and Gorham was called into action again when Weir's through pass split the defence and gave Colin McDonald a shooting chance. Rangers created an opening on the half hour. David Robertson's cross headed clear but only as far as Stuart McCall. His grubber squirmed through the Falkert defence and in the end Basil Bolly only just failed to make contact. He and John Burridge quickly struck up a relationship. Stuart McCall proved to be the danger man again as Rangers stepped up the pressure, the ball again falling to him in space and his shot tipped over by Burridge. Loudrop launched the next Ibrox assault, his cross just inches ahead of McCoyst. Then a moment of drama in the Rangers' half, of the theatrical nature. Eddie May went down and a foul was awarded, but Peter Houser clearly thought he'd dived and he made his thoughts clear. No Oscar for Houstra, just a yellow card. 1-0 Rangers at the break. Three minutes into the second half, Ali McCoy's looked on for his 300th Rangers goal, but his shot struck the bar. Denied again. At the other end, Jamie McGowan decided to go it alone, but his shot from the edge of the box didn't cause Andy Gorham too much concern. But with 55 minutes gone, there was reason for worry in the Rangers' defence. Nicky Henderson gathered the ball in the box, he turned his marker and he put the ball past Gorham. The keeper screamed for offside, but the goal stood. Rangers had a great chance to regain the lead two minutes later. Appeals for offside were dismissed as Loudrop went one-on-one -on -one with Burridge, but for once the Dane didn't dazzle and the ball hit the side netting. Falkert too came close, May's header was well saved by Gorham. Both sides kept hunting for the winner. Rangers had the final effort. Gordon Jury heading Bolly's cross just wide. So, 1-1 it finished.